Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the previous video, we found the, uh... What did we do, actually? Hold on. We got- oh, we did Scarecrow's Song stuff, that's right. And, uh, we got a couple heart pieces, and at the end of the very last episode, we found out a, a little side quest we have to do. Which basically involves us, uh, going around and gathering up all of the frogs from the game. So there's a couple of frogs, four of them to be exact, so I guess two couples of frogs if we want to go off that international system of two is a couple, few is meta, three. Anyway, there's many frogs, that's four. Although no one asks for me. Anyway, if, if you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, there, check out the uh, Spider House video. Um, but anyway, we've got things to do, so we're going to do them. But first off, I need to take a second and orient myself in the most efficient way to do things. And actually, the most efficient way to do things is by doing them right now. So the, I, tra I travel to Clock Town because there is one, uh, there is a, a frog here. He lives here in the laundry pool, which is an area I haven't really been to too much. But uh, there's a frog here. He's right here underneath the tree. We just have to go up and chat with him as Don Gero. Hello. Ah, Don Gero, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? Then look, it is true! Winter was so long that I begin to lose all hope. I understand. I just head for the mountains immediately. Awesome! So we got one frog so far, and uh, my little sheet of paper is blowing away that has all the things I need to do in today's episode. I'll tuck it under my water glass. Alright, so, cool! We got one out of four frogs, and uh, we're gonna get the other three now. So there's two in the swamp and one in the ocean. We're going to head to the ocean first, and there's actually kind of a, a second meaning behind that because uh, outside the ocean there is a um, there's a, a heart piece we can get, and we're gonna go ahead and take care of that right now. It is actually right inside of here. We just need to punch that. Okay, and we can drop down, and then inside of here we should be able to sink to the bottom of some water and claim a heart piece. Down I go. Bloop. Okay, keep her going, keep her going. Um, okay, we gotta chop down these clowns up here. Can I get both of them? I can get both of them, no way. Okay, um, oh, I remember where the heart piece is. Hold on, I didn't knock it down. Can I knock it down for me? Probably not. I, I'm just gonna ascend to the surface. Uh, basically, it's in a, um, it's in a beehive, and I need to punch the beehive with my arrows. Oh shoot, there's three beehives and I have two arrows. Can I hit one of these? Just one. Okay, that wasn't it. No, get back up, Zorlink. Come on. Oh, you're burning daylight. No, Zorlink, what did I just say about burning daylight? Stop it. Actually, I did use the uh, song of inverted time so that we have plenty of- there it is! Okay, we have plenty of time to do what we need to do. Um, so let's sync now. Alright, so after this I'm going to warp to the uh, the temple, there we go, another piece of heart. I'm gonna warp to Great Bay Temple. We're gonna do the Great Bay boss, mini boss first, and then we're going to do the Deku stuff afterwards. So I plan to showcase everything. Um, that means I, I want to, you know, show off my process of, of getting to the, the dungeon and then also the process of doing said dungeon. But that all kind of depends on how long the video it gets and if it's interesting content, because obviously, with the exception of the one other frog in the swamp, I've already shown all these mini-boss fights as parts of the dungeon videos. So, you know, besides- actually, well, okay, I guess I'm gonna have a bunch of new equipment for the, uh, the, the Woodfall Temple Gekko- Gekko fight, not Gekko, <laughs> Gekko is- by the way, that's how you get the frogs, is from Gekko. Uh, so, that's cool, let's play New Wave Bossa Nova. That took forever. I don't know if I showed all those attempts, but holy lord. This stick or something just doesn't accept it. Okay, New Wave Bossa Nova, yes. Do I have to watch the cutscene again? No, I don't. Awesome! That is super cool of you, game. Uh, presumably, I don't have to listen to the guy talk as well. He's just ready to go. The open seas need your help. Climb on my back quickly. You the man, man. He is the man. Alright. Nope. So what's cool about the uh, having the... Uh, ice arrows at the start of the dungeon is I actually don't need to worry about doing difficult puzzles. It's pretty much all just running. I do need more than two arrows though. 
Also, of course, we can warp right to the boss. Um, we're gonna get that text again. No, we're not. Awesome. Ignore me. Okay, so let's go ahead and head in here and take care of what we need to do. I also get to show off another feature that I never actually ended up mentioning. That's a bit of an oops on my part. Um, oh, I have plenty of arrows. Awesome. Um, and that feature, I I'll explain... Well, I guess I don't really need to explain it, I'll just showcase it in a little bit. Uh, the Song of Soaring, when used inside of a temple, will take you to the temple's entrance. Right away. And then from there, it's your choice to, uh, to do whatever you want. Um, but it'll take you there. So that's cool. Alright. Part of me really wants to fight Gyorg again. Just because I... Oh, shoot. I didn't turn it on, did I? That's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> well... Okay, we're doing the dungeon. I totally forgot we have to do the dungeon. Can't just uh, not do the dungeon. Man, I miss having everything perfect for me. Now I gotta do the whole puzzles over again. Whatever. Anyway, yes, because my extra defense, I feel like it'd be cool to fight Kyorg. Uh, this gecko fight is probably gonna take the longest uh, because, it, as I said, it's the least changed. I don't have any, like, new abilities or special tools that I'm like, oh, uh, Gyorg is gonna be super, or, so not Gyorg, sorry, Gecko in Woodfall is gonna be super easy. Uh, because I just fought Ga uh, Gecko in Great Bay. I think I said Gyorg instead of whatever. You know what I'm talking about. And every time I say Gyorg, I want to say Gygas or Gygas because that was the boss of uh, Earthbound, our second Let's Play here on the channel. And, uh, you know, I guess old habits die hard. Three out of Let's Play series, too late. Wow. Weird to say that. Five whole Let's Play series, like four and a half or something. A lot of, lot of Let's Plays. A lot of Let's Play content. Alright, so I think the fastest way, honestly, would just be to do the uh, the area again. And I think... Ah, come on, game. Give, give, give me an easy one. Okay, get through the tunnel. Oh, oh my lord. Just when I think I'm free from all this stupid water mechanics. No, you have to do the water mechanics more. Whoa! That was a weird bit of momentum. All right, so as I was saying, I can just leave because there's nothing I need to do here. I don't need any keys or anything. I can just be gone. That's exactly what I plan to do. No stray fairies, nothing worrying me. No weight on my shoulders besides the weight of my own head. I wish I could dolphin dive though, oh my lord. This game is like, use the Zora to move quickly through water. And then it's like, but you can only do it in this one area of the game. Whatever. Okay, so as you can see, instead of having to go through the whole dungeon, we can just uh, create our ice platform and make a jump. Failed. Failure. All right, let's try again. Here we go. Turn around, jump. And ice platform, jump. Perfect. And now we're up. Cool. And then we do the whole like, fire arrow again super weird I, it would be great if you could switch your arrow type like as you're shooting them uh, i know in the legend of zelda the wind waker they did that that was pretty cool um or you could have like fire arrows and ice arrows equipped at the same time and just switch between them a lot of things that would be cool okay here's gecko here he is awesome okay gecko have to remember to actually complete the boss and not just uh not just leave right away come on get over here holy lord i'll put on the bunny hood if you want me to gecko like i have no shame in doing so that's why like if you want me to it's done that's good perfect last time i had a lot of trouble with making making those good ones count okay Trying to three cycle him this time. I don't know if you can. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Gecko, go to town. Not on me though. Like, go to town and get a life. Imagine being the mini boss of two separate dungeons. Actually, you'll be surprised at what we see. <laughs> this game uh, enjoys mini bosses kind of too much, but you know. Okay. Get it! Nope. Gosh darn it. Alright, well, at least this is the only annoying gecko fight we have. The other one, gecko fight, includes him with the, um... On the back of that, the snapper turtle. And the snapper turtle isn't bad. Get- oh my lord, I was really trying just to get rid of him there. Go out of- go away, gecko! Got him. Okay. 
So there's the first gecko fight done. And as you see, he leaves behind a turtle. I didn't really pay attention to these turtles too, too much. Uh, let's start equipping for the next dungeon. So it's you and you. And I guess actually we should put on Dongero's mask. All right. Hello. Ah, Dongero, it has been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? That Look, it is true. Winter was so long that I began to lose all hope. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. And he's gone. As you can see, if you play the Song of Soaring, which apparently doesn't work if you play it too quickly. Man, this port of the game is weird. It'll say, take you to this entrance, and you can say yes and get warped right to the start of the dungeon for easy leaving. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to leave. Alright, so the next place I'm going to go is to Woodfall Temple. Um, and by the way, you just have to get on the back of the... Uh, of the turtle to exit the uh, this area. It'll just take you right away, no questions. Come on now. Get on. Get on. Got him, okay, cool. Uh, perfect, so we're getting warped away now. I'm gonna go to Woodfall and do the um, the Woodfall stuff. Because, well, actually, shoot, where is Gecko in Woodfall? Gecko in Woodfall is second story, I think. I actually don't know. This could be a little weird. Um, either way, we're gonna go to Woodfall, we're gonna fight Gecko there, and then there is one more frog in the swamp that we're actually gonna be using Goron Link to have access to. I don't think the way we're gonna access him is intentional at all, um, but we're gonna try it. And also, while we're there, we're gonna try one other thing, um, and I'll explain that a little more when we get there. It's gonna be in in the same vein as when we um, when we did the the glitch in the Zora Hall. There we go, Sonata of Awakening to Awaken the Temple. And then as I said, I think Gecko is on the second floor to the right. Um, when it should be an easier fight. I, I think I want to use the Blast Mask and uh, just Gilded Sword the heck out of him. That's, that's my plan. Uh, yeah. Okay, so here we go. Big, uh, big temple rising out of the swamp. Just as we remember it, way back in episode something or other, I think it was like 9. I don't know, this series has weird moments of like, insane story progress, and then also I would spend like 7 episodes just getting out of Clock Town. It's a little cool, I, I like it. I think this series is one of the most uh, uniquely paced, where I have a lot of things I can do, and it's just a about when I want to do it. Which actually reminds me, there's, there's a... A very important side quest I was completely forgetting we need to do, because it's not a side quest, it's a main story quest. I'm gonna have to get to that. I think next episode we'll probably begin doing that. Um, and there's probably no way you'd know to even have to do this, but... I don't know, what else? Okay. So, focusing back up on what we're doing today, instead of what we're not doing today. Let me through here. Alright. And, um, here we go. We have arrows that are on fire. And these arrows that are on fire, some may refer to them as fire arrows. Uh, they can light torches that need to get lit in order for things to start spinning. So there we go. We um, get immediate access to the right side of the temple and on uh, the second floor of the temple as well. So there we go. Easy as pie. So we're just going to hop on and ride a little way around. I guess a little more way around. Hop off. Ignoring anything we see because it is literally not relevant at all Into here Right, so Gecko is not in that room. I went over to that room in the right I actually ran around the entire dungeon kind of like a chicken with no head Gecko is over here on the left side. I don't I I, I hope you, I hope he's over here on the left side in all honesty I actually still have no clue, but I'm hoping that when I uh, When I turn that corner Gecko better be waiting for there for me in there, gosh darn it. Because if he's not, we're gonna have words, Mr. Gecko. Right, I think this is where Gecko is, because you need the uh, the bow to get the boss key, and then this is the only mini boss that has the boss key, or that requires the bow to get to. Okay, so Gecko, be in here please. He's in here. Awesome, okay, we found him. Hey Gecko, how's it going? Spin attack. Okay. So now he's gonna call in his uh his turtle man, his snapper. And I wanna try using the blast mask. Now I had the blast mask when I did this originally, but I never showed this off as an acceptable strategy. Uh, now we have to what? We have to take him down, right? Like that. 
or like that. Right? Or like... Stand still! There we go. And I can't spin attack him, can I? Nope. We just put this on, and we blast him off. And then we have to do the same thing. A little more. Be, be gone, beast! I only want to claim your, uh, small frog friend remains, whatever you may be. Is Gecko like the bosses where he's cursed, or is does he just revert to his primal form of a tiny frog? It'd be pretty cool if it was a tiny frog, in all honesty. Um, alrighty, so I need this, I need this, and I need this. Nope, I need Dongaro Mask. Perfect. Talk to me. He's gonna say the same thing. Uh, yes, spring has come to the mountains. Awesome, all right. So I'm gonna catch you guys now in the southern swamp because that's where we need to go to uh, try the little glitchy thing that I was talking about earlier with the little exploit and also to get um, the last frog. So I'll catch you guys at the southern swamp warp. All right, welcome to southern swamp. Cool area here in the game. Uh, so what we're going to do now is a bit of a cheat. Now, I don't like saying that because people might get angry, but I just want to see what would happen if I, a, a human Link, suddenly were to become a Goron Link and were to uh, ground pound right here. Oh, okay, see, I can't even do it, so I got you guys all psyched for nothing. I was under the impression that you... Okay, I can do it. This is another heart piece you can claim from a long trading sequence. I just wanted to see if I can do it, in all honesty. I won't claim the heart piece, don't worry. Um, but I was just curious. We do need the, um, the, uh, Goron Mask, however. So first off, we need to get rid of this ugly, ugly Octorok. Actually, I don't think we need to. Hold on, let's find out. Uh, Goron Link can roll through here, so he can, you know, he's fast enough to where he can roll through. And he's gonna take damage, but it's like, okay, you know, he gets used to it. Um, we need to now roll through this guy. Spit me out! Hooligan? Okay, I need like a tiny, tiny fraction of a second here so I can shoot my bow. Okay, I will... Uh-oh. Wait, this isn't actually good. Um, what do I want to do? I need to activate Goron Mask quickly. Give me Goron Mask! Give me Goron Mask! Perfect. Okay. And then I can just roll um, out of here. Climb up now. Let's go. Up we go. We're not going to climb up. We don't feel like it. We'd rather die. We'd rather die. Okay, so time for another exploit. Zora Link is tall. No. Okay, that's ridiculous. There we go. Okay, not really an exploit, just a way to use the game. Okay, so take out this Octorok because we need to get through here. And then we go on roll through again because it's just fast and go on Link. He, he doesn't... When he's rolling, he won't, like, flop over. He's just quick. That's what's important right now. Okay, so quickness. And that's not what I'm looking for. Where is the area? I hear him. Get out of here. I tried to punch him. Okay, so there is the frog. The final frog is right here. And we just need to chat with him once again as Don Gero. Hello, I'm Don Gero. Ah, Don Gero, it's been so long. Yes, the, the Osh, the, yeah, it's, it's spring. Cool, that's the last frog. So let's, let's warp. Let's warp. And let's do cool things. For some reason, that time the song worked. Uh, usually when I play Song of Soaring, it takes me three times to get through. Like, three different, uh, whatevers. Like, down, left, right, down, left, ups. I have to play down, left, up, down, left, up, down, left, up in order for it to play. It's weird. I don't really know why. It seems to be fixed, though. Cool, so... You might be able to hear our choir of frogs. Hello, Dongaro has arrived now. Let's uh, let's hear some sick beats, frog choir. All right. Oh, get back up, Link. I don't know why he's just jumping for joy out here. All right. Speak. Well, if it isn't the great Dongaro, shall we sing once again? I'm going to say no uh, because I kind of need a better camera angle. There we go. Well, if it isn't the great Dongaro, shall we sing? Sing! The conducting was spectacular, and all our members rose to the occasion. This is how deeply we are moved by your spectacular conducting. It's one piece of heart. Awesome. Alright. Let us do it again sometime. 
Uh, there's only one prize for this, but it's pretty cool, you know? You get to hear the frog choir. Alrighty, so that is going to be all for now. Um, yeah, that's basically it for the frog choir. So I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please do like and subscribe and tell your friends about the series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me because my videos around. In the next episode, we're going to be doing some stuff to prepare for the fourth area of the game, Econa Canyon. So I'll catch you guys all back here next time. Until then, as always, take care.